In this video, we'll be looking at the Berlin crisis of 1961. As you know, hopefully, uh, after World War II finished, Germany was divided into four zones of occupation. A little closer look there. The British zone is the green, the French zone is the blue, the American zone is the orange, and the Russian controlled zone is in red. But notice that Berlin is right in the middle of the eastern part of Germany. Let's have a look at a closer map, a more detailed map of Berlin, which is there. And you can also see that it was divided into four zones. Again, blue for French, green for British, orange for American, and red for the uh, Russian-controlled sections of Berlin. The British and American zones often worked together, and that was known as Bizonia. Frequently, the French zone cooperated as well, all three Western allies working together, which was known as Trizonia. In 1949, um, the zones sort of came to an end and Germany formed into West Germany, the, the previous bits that were controlled by the Western Allies, and East Germany, ironically called the German Democratic Republic. But again, that notice that Berlin, as a free city, or the Western half of Berlin as a free city, was right in the middle of East Germany. Remember that um, the Allies, the Russians and the Americans, didn't fully withdraw. Um, there we see some American army soldiers at a very, very famous checkpoint called Checkpoint Charlie. If we just scroll along here. There are some American soldiers in the top picture um, patrolling the streets of Berlin. And here are some Russian soldiers in their tanks in the eastern part of Berlin. Until 1961, Berliners could cross from east to west fairly easily using checkpoints like that. Because of this, a number of East Berliners crossed from East Berlin into West Berlin. Between 1949 and 1961, 2.7 million East Germans did this. Now, this was very embarrassing for East Germany and for the Soviet Union, because it showed that life in the West was superior to life in the Communist East. We can have a quick look uh, in this photograph here of East Berliners getting on board a, a British plane to leave for West Berlin. And from there, they could travel to West Germany and the rest of you know, Western Europe. This um, annoyed Khrushchev, and in 1958, he issued an ultimatum to President Eisenhower of the USA, demanding that Western forces leave West Berlin within six months. 